Hello, my friends. Today I'm going to try another stick trick. Um, I, my last video, I, well, I'll show you. I, this was the, um, it's a dry result of the last video. And I got this effect here by doing this as I poured. So I'm going to try it today with the Artist Loft paints. And I really like this area here. This is the end of the cup. And that's the most interesting part of the pour. Um, so my plan today is to I'm just using a very small canvas because I don't know how it'll how it will go with these paints. Um, I'm going to do kind of a a six shape. I'm going to move it around a bit. So I'm going to go like that and then end up in the center and finish it off. So that should, I hope, is that will give an interesting look. So, um, as I said, I'm using Artist Loft. I have mixed some custom colors. I took the green, which is just too too green for my taste, added some white, come up this kind of pretty mint color. I took the purple or violet and um, added black to come up with a rich, deep plum kind of color. And then I took phthalo blue and added some white to it because it's very transparent and I want it to be more op be opaque. So I add white is opaque. When you add white to um, a translucent, you get opaque. And then I have uh, aqua green and silver standing by and white. Um, so I don't need much for this thing, but I may add a little bit of those colors. Let me open them up. Okay, there we go. I hadn't given any thought to the order of color, but I usually like to start with dark, so I will. In fact, I'm going to dump it all in. I'm, I'm not going to make layers. Well, I'm making layers, but I'm not making layers of the same colors. So, let's see, we'll go... Mm, let's do some silver. Try to pour it gently in so it doesn't uh, blend in the cup there. And let's see, there's not much difference between those colors. So I'm going to separate them. I'll do the, the green mix. And this blue. Did I put any white in yet? I don't think so. And lastly, this uh, aqua green. Oh, it's so pretty. I think I used everything up. That should be plenty, but just for good measure, I'll add a little more white. Okay, let's give it a go. So I'm going to pour, um, I think I'll put the stick right here. I'm going to pour from this side, the clean side, and having the stick just protrude a little bit over the edge. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the best way to grip it. I think that could be it. And here we go. I'm going to try to remember to do the and a six. And wait to move it until I get some new color in there. There we go. Huh. 
It's making me laugh to watch this. I don't know why? I can hear that dove outside. You know, I'm having the stick is moving on me. It's protruding a little further than it was initially, and it's prohibiting the the double stream. If it sticks out too far, it just kind of all um, runs to the of the stick. So that's one thing you have to watch for. I suppose I could glue a stick on. It'd be a little trickier to fill the cup though. Okay, we'll call that good. Well, that's kind of fun where it began, but of course that's going to get lost, get tilted off, but um, I'm liking the center there. Might be prettiest right now. I'm going to bring the, <laughs> the canvas up and show you a close-up right now because it may not look that nice in a minute here. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, I like that. Over here. And this is very nice. lose any of that. I really like the way that's coming together there. It's okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to have most, mostly end up with purple, and that's okay. Hmm. It's kind of pretty. There's all sorts of possibilities with this uh, little stick trick of ways you apply it to the canvas. Um, let me take you down for a closer look. Oh, and before I do, my plan, if this turns out, if I'm happy with when it's done, um, I'm going to put it in a, a shadow box frame. It'll fit with or without the glass, I'm not sure. And I just have, I have the back turned inside out just so you could see the black I meant to show you beforehand. But um, it's just a narrow canvas, but you put it in something like this, it becomes a substantial piece. And I think that will look pretty nice. So that's the plan. I think I'm done. I think I'm pleased with the, composition. If anything, I might, now I'll have to put my gloves back on, but I might 
bring this over there a little bit more so it's not so squared off. But I'm very pleased with um, with that feathery look in the center. That's kind of fun there. I think that was the very end of the pour. Yeah, I, I like that color too. Um, with the silver, when it dries, it's going to be quite pretty. Well, I think I'll be playing some more with that stick business. <laughs> I hope you'll give it a try too. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.